Well, we've hit the climax of the trial where we probably only got like one testimony left or something. <laughs> we gotta know, we gotta get ratings to break down. But first, are you ready for an explanation of Luminol again, Judge? Well, yes, please, go into great detail about, I mean, all oh, right, Luminol. I can't wait until it's time to talk about ballistic markings again. Oh, ballistic markings, those sound interesting. What why, are you doing here? Why do you always forget? There's one thing I haven't forgotten. I think you're I... the bittersweet gamers. Hey, you're right, Your Honor. I'm the opinionator. I we squared. Luminol can detect trace amounts of blood, even if it's been wiped away, right? Oh, you learned something. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Wiping the blood away would have only served as proof of his meddling. How about it, Mr. Ratings? I did a pretty good job figuring out your trick, didn't I? Mm, Grammarie! Your honor, please! I'll kill you all one day! <laughs> Listen to what he's saying! <laughs> Trucy Wright could have done the same just as easily. Why should you assume that it's my, that it is Mr. Raytons who is constantly shrieking, Grammarie, I'll kill you all, over Trucy Wright? You have no proof that it was this witness who tampered with the evidence. Ah, uh, but I do have proof. What? A person who was in the magic show would never have made the mistake of putting the blood on the wrong side. Yeah! Trucy would have put it on whichever side was on her side. He's got him right there. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Least of all, Miss Wright, who surely would have remembered she was on the other side. Oh my, you're absolutely right. Uh, why? You impudent! I can't be wrong! I can't! <laughs> you just, I can't, I can't, I can't! I'm sure you've realized by now, Prosecutor Sadmati, that your claim that Miss Wright is the culprit just doesn't hold up. Tuh. You and the accused are most certainly... Really? Miss Wright and I? Because I think you're the one with a ticket there for trying to convict an innocent girl. Ooh, in your face! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> KO! Victory! Victory! <laughs> Prosecutor Sadmati, are you alright? Even I have to admit, Prosecutor Sadmati, that was pretty good. <laughs> As for the true culprit, he is someone who keeps yelling Grammarie! <laughs> who knew how the show was supposed to go, but didn't actually see it. There's only one of those people that exists. And someone who had the chance to tamper with the crime scene after the incident. And the only person who fits every one of these bills is you, Roger Raytons. Grammarie! Your honor, do I need to say anything more? All of the secrets to your tricks have been revealed. No tricks, no gimmicks. And with no tricks or gimmicks left, I'm afraid your show has been canceled. Permanently. Here it comes. All of my secrets have been revealed, you say? Uh... <laughs> Don't make me laugh, boy. Mine is the true, real magic. There are no secrets to reveal! Behold, ladies and gentlemen, the true power of the great Mysterious! What? Witness a magic far greater than troop grammary! Ah! Burn! Crumble! My god! Fall to my furious flames! The great Mysterious will bring an end to you all! Where'd you get the curtain? And now for the final heir to the Grammary name, right here, right now, you too shall bur- Uh-huh. 
No, this isn't right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> ah, ah! No, I didn't do anything wrong. No, it's not my fault. I'm not the one to blame. I'm the victim here. Ah. Nice show you're putting on. What? Ah! Ah! Stop! No! Ah! Curse you, Grammarie! Jesus. Well, I guess we're done then. That was a breakdown and a half. That was an actual <laughs> breakdown. That was really good. Yeah. Curse those grammaries. It's all, it's all because of them. Even now they wound me. Curse them all to the abyss. Weren't you just betrayed by your own tricks and gimmicks? You're done, right? Do you really hate us that much? Does your hatred run that deep? Deep enough to kill an innocent man? A fan, no less? Yeah, that's... Someone who looked up to him? I mean, this isn't just any fan. This was somebody who was inspired to become a magician and wanted to use his name. Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Yeah, and the thing is, is he not only... His hatred of the Grammaries was such that he killed, like, the one person who cared about him the most, but he didn't kill a Grammary? Right? Does it not just that, someone who wasn't even related to what happened then. Trucy was, wasn't part of the show then. She didn't have any decision in kicking him out. It's just pettiness. Yeah. No matter how great a magician he is. You're damn right! You have no idea what humiliations I had to suffer. Your grandfather, Magnifi Grammary, kicked me out after I got hurt practicing my magic. He said I was too unskilled, that I would mess up on stage. He threw me out of the troupe just because he was worried about his own reputation. Since I was but a child, it was always my dream to become a great magician. But that Magnifi, he took it all from me. You know, he could have just kept going on his own. Yeah. I, I mean... Even if he took a break for a while, why couldn't he have just come back? On, as his he, own act. I he, mean, it's not like Grammarie blacklisted him in the industry or something. He could have just hated the Grammaries just as much as he does and now. And outperform them. But continued to follow his own dream instead of just blaming somebody else for trying to stop him. Especially with how much skill he has now. He had, I mean, he had enough skill then. To be a grammary. Exactly. I mean, Jesus. He could have done fine. But that's no excuse. That's no reason to do something so evil. Magic is supposed to make people happy, not used as a means for murder. What's the big deal? I just used what I had available to me, that's all. Also, isn't it interesting? After that breakdown, which that was an extremely, this whole case has been extremely unique. We had like the double cross examination, uh -huh, which uh -huh. hadn't been done before. We had a, and then the breakdown at the end, He's, he was no longer Mr. Rius. He just went back to being Mr. Ratens. Yeah. The great, he's like, I'm the great Mr. Rius. My magic is real. And now he's just back to being the money-grubbing producer. It's like... It's like Mr. Rius did get killed. Yeah. Yeah. I get it now. That attitude towards magic is why my grandfather kicked you out. You. You don't deserve to call yourself a magician! Don't deserve? I don't know about that. After all, you were completely taken in by my magic, were you not? If not for that lawyer over there, you would be on your way to prison as we speak. Most importantly, if not for Bonnie's mistake, 
this whole thing would have worked. Yeah. Even at the end, it would have been conjecture versus... Although, I mean, I'd like to think there could have been something we could have done. <laughs> especially with all the gravity! <laughs> but, like taking out a voodoo doll of truth and stabbing it. You're like, maybe that's the guy who did something! Anyway. I guess you could say that, in a sense, because Bonnie was such a fan of Trucy, she saved her life. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't see through your tricks. You see, so in the end, Troop Grammary was defeated by the great Mr. Rius. Do you know what one of the differences is? <laughs> When you go to see a magic show, you go to see a magic show. You expect to see the magic. You're there to be deceived. But Mr. Rius didn't defeat Troop Grammary at all. Nobody knew that he was putting on a show. Yeah! That's a good way of, pu of putting at it. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Maybe some degree of putting it and looking at it, but eh, whatever. You're not fit to lecture me from on high, Trucy Wright. You don't even deserve to call yourself a magician, you naive greenhorn. Ah, uh, he's back, eh? <laughs> Take that, Grammary! You lose. If anyone needs to learn to let it go and move on, it's this guy. <laughs> Your Honor, do we have do we have a verdict yet? Oh, I, I think we do. Send him to the loony bin. This court and my prison can both burn in the flames of my creation. <laughs> Bailiff, take Mr. Raytons away and bring a fire extinguisher just to be safe. No dust in this fire bucket. Dump it on his head. It looks like we've reached the end. I feel as though I've been watching a grand magic show. It was close, but we just barely made it through somehow. Why does Trucy look so down? Miss Wright? Y yes, Your Honor? I'm about to announce my verdict. Could I see that wonderful smile of yours? That smile of a true entertainer as I do? Yes, Your Honor. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Trucy Wright. Of course. Of course. Not guilty. How did all this confetti get in here? Man, as far as second cases go, that was really good. <laughs> like, Court is adjourned. I don't remember what the second case was in Trials and Tribulations. If it was the one with uh, Mask to Mask uh -huh. and Luke at me. I th that may have been a second case, or it may have been a third case. I think it was a second. I thought that was basically the best, the best, the best case, case in that in that class. Ah, ah. Uh, and I mean, I'm doing, I'm thinking off the top of my head, and it's not like I remember everything, and I've only played the games like over many years. <laughs> right, right, right. But uh, this, this I think was uh, was actually really memorable. Like not only the magic show interrogation or cross-examination, but, like, the, the other stuff you said, too. Yeah, like, this is, this is, uh, at least, if not the best in the second case category, at least one you'd have to seriously look at with the others. Though I admit, when it comes to the third Ace Attorney game, I, like, probably most people have, like, uh, nostalgia happy goggles <laughs> looking at it, because that game is generally considered to be the best of the series, because it's the best of the series. <laughs> 
this was quite good. I'm quite happy. I especially like how this game flipped my thinking around about the, uh, like that logic final moment. Yeah, thing. yeah, It made yeah. us work for it, and uh -huh. thank you, because in Dual Destinies, it was just like, hurt, dirt, dirt, and I never had any problem going right through it. Uh, does Phoenix do it or only Apollo? Both. Okay, okay. Because it didn't uh, happen all, in the first all case, three, so. actually. All three, because oh. Athena does it as well. Okay, okay. Thank you for everything, Polly. Oh, Trucy, grazie a Dio. They thought the killer was you, Trucy, but it was actually I, Dio. Wait, that's something else. Athena, I think you might have something else mixed up. Now you can open your show tomorrow, just as planned. Yep. And it's all thanks to you two. I mean, we're going to kind of have to find a new villain. Yeah, I don't think the show can open. There's kind of a major part missing. Oh, but now that Mr. Rius is gone, I'll need to find somebody to replace him. <laughs> She's thinking what I'm thinking. I, I can't do any magic, though. <laughs> uh, what about... Betty DeFam. I mean, oh! I don't like the way she's looking at me. Trucy, I'm so sorry about everything. Hey, what are you apologizing for? I need to apologize. Roger Rayton's used us. We're victims too. They are, especially Betty. Like, she, if she wants, yeah. He even made me an accomplice to murder. She has every right to be as upset about that. In fact, she, Bonnie's the one who saved the day. Bonnie saved the day. Uh, Betty, Betty, like her wrath is justified. I mean, not against Bonnie, but. Well, no, but outside of poor man of mystery, like the victim in this trial is Betty. Yeah. I really do feel bad for her. But Betty, we have to take some of the blame for this too, you know? Even if we didn't know he was planning to kill Mr. Mystery, we did cooperate with him. It's it's all my fault, isn't it? No, you're the victim. Neither one of you is to blame. The only one in the wrong is the person who used magic to commit murder. Roger Raiden. The only one in the wrong is the one who committed the murder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you think I know that? I do know you know that, goodness. Say what you want, but don't think for a second that... that I don't still hate you. Aww. He, 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 he. I... I guess she really does hate me. But, Betty, why? You used to be a huge fan of Trucy's. <laughs> hey! Just shut up! I... I've always hated her, but Baka! Really? But if we hadn't seen Trucy's magic show... We never would have tried to become <laughs> professional magicians ourselves, right? S -s speak for yourself. I was happy as a vampire cosplayer. But, but Betty, you still have her autograph ah, from... Just shut up! Was she acting that way this <laughs> whole time because she secretly loves Trucy? Wait, does that mean she really loves her sister? Durr, durr, durr. <laughs> wow, Trucy. I never knew that being the best could be so tough. Come on, Bonnie. We're leaving. We have to get ready for tomorrow's show. By the way, doesn't your show, although you can't do your teleportation trick anymore, doesn't their career actually improve from here because now they can actually go with this? Yeah. Not only that, but couldn't they also do solo and you'd never know which one it was or what they were going to do or if the other one was ever going Especially to appear or not? Especially if they developed their own styles of magic. And then each copied each other? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. really, this is nothing but good for them. <laughs> You're really excited about performing with Trucy again, aren't you? <laughs> That's not true, so zip it, dummy! Nope, I'm just going to keep going on about this. Because that's my role. Polly? Do you think I really am a naive greenhorn? What? No way. She's not. After all, you were completely taken in by my magic, were you not? If not for that lawyer over there, you would be on your way to prison as we speak. 
You're right. I didn't see through your tricks. You see, so in the end, Troop Grammary was defeated by the great Mysterious. <laughs> You're not fit to lecture me from on high, Trucy Wright. You don't even deserve to call yourself a magician, you naive greenhorn. You just have the moral high ground. Trucy. Don't tell me you're taking what Rayton said to heart. Well, maybe a little. I didn't see through his tricks, and I let myself be taken in by his magic. I... I can't trust myself anymore. Oh, that look on her face. Maybe he was right to call me a greenhorn. That's bull. You shouldn't take stock in his words. He doesn't even know the first thing about you. Huh? He's just... He's like, well... My plan fell through and I'm going to prison. I better try and ruin her the only way I have left. I'll attack her psychologically. You know, he was wrong about everything. He was wrong about himself. Yeah. He did have the skills to be such a good magician. Why didn't he do anything with it? I mean, he apparently had the skills to be a great performer, like, as the ratings Raja, and to be a great producer. Like, what a talented guy. And... He was running away. All, yeah, he was running away. He was running away. The best magic, the biggest person he deceived with his magic was him. You're right. Yeah, you're right. He deceived himself with his magic. He was so wrong about so many things. Why should she believe that he would be right about this? Yeah. You're a wonderful grammary magician. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you, Apollo. But what makes you say that? I know you're a wonderful grammary magician because of this. The badge? Is it the badge? No, and if you mess this up, I'll slay you. Y you gotta get these right. I've never gotten one wrong. I don't know what happens if you get it. Okay, you... what do we use then? Well, we gotta figure that out. Um. Okay, so it's gotta be this one. It's gotta be. Yep. My grandfather's notebook? The Grammary Creed. A true entertainer always keeps a smile on their face. Even the judge asked you to do it. You're right. I really like the judge. I really like Trucy. Well, I mean, like, that she too. Was, she just stole the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want a cookie? Yeah. Okay. She just stole the show in Apollo Justice. You're right. I do remember that much at least. When you performed your magic trick in court today, you showed the world your dedication to your troops' creed. Even through all the jeering, you kept a smile on your face and won the crowd over. You are everything Magnify could have hoped for in an air. You're a great magician, Trucy. A, a great magician? Me? You really are. That's why you don't have to worry about what Rayton said. Oh, Polly, thank you. Still. Besides, you're like a 17-year-old girl. How many other 17-year-olds are... Like, have their own magic show? And are so skilled at their craft, like, quite objectively? <laughs> I mean, because <laughs> think of where you're going to be in six years. Right? How much better are you going to be then? <laughs> she does a trick where she pulls, like, Bonnie or Betty out of her hat. <laughs> or she'll start doing all these fireball blasts, <laughs> like, like uh, Rayton's... The man who, like, apparently his body chemistry is entirely phosphorus or something. Phosphorus sweat. That's the trick. No tricks, no gimmicks. I couldn't have done it without you. I would have lost my nerve if I'd been alone up there. But I was able to keep on smiling because of you. Hey, I'm your assistant, right? M me? I remembered what you said to me in the detention center. After all... You're sure you swapped the swords, right? Yes, I remember doing it. Then I just know it wasn't your fault, Trucy. B but how can you say that? We don't have any proof it wasn't me. I, I mean, I know you're a great lawyer, Polly, but... I believe in you, Trucy. And that's the first step, and all you have to believe in your, in your client. Yep. Yeah. And I believe in your skill as a professional magician. 
So I'm going to prove your innocence. Don't worry. You're going to be fine. Ooh, that was out of key. <laughs> it's a flashback. Don't worry. Your words were what kept me going. Out of tune is what I was trying to say. It, never mind. Apollo, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now I could be everything I was meant to be. Get into the magic panties. Well, if I must. Trucy's real smile is the best. I'm so glad I could help make that happen. Um, Emma? I'm really sorry, Trucy, for everything. If she hadn't been the detective there, he, they probably, he probably might have been able to get away with wiping off the blood. and Very possibly. So she has, she contributed a oh, lot Oh, no, to... no, no. Now that I think about it, you're right. Because she had just tested everything. Just, and... uh, just for kicks? Just for kicks. But even, like, they wouldn't have ever bothered... Well, maybe the coffin, they would have bothered testing the whole thing. But why? Well... I wasn't able to convince Prosecutor Saad Mahdi what a good person you are. And I had to testify against you, too. You have nothing to apologize for. It's literally your job. Besides, you were clearly on our side. You were just doing your job, as I just said. You're too kind. Oh, I don't know about... Huh? Is something wrong, Emma? Oh! Ah! Wow, so that shawl scarf <laughs> still floats. He's got like a fan sewn into the back of his robes That's, or coat. How do you do all this stuff? Prosecutor Saad Mahdi, what are you doing here? Being fabulous. Detective Sky. <laughs> yes? It's time for a pay cut. I require your forensic expertise in order to close this case. Come, let us go. Wait! Prosecutor Saad Mahdi. The trial is over, Mr. Justice. You and I are strangers once more, with no further need to interact. Strangers? I don't know about that. When you, uh... <coughs> there you go again! I even took a cough drop between episodes! I just don't understand! You, you're like, why is my throat scratchy? I forgot what I was, oh no, no, yeah. When you figuratively battle to the death with someone, you can't just say you're a stranger to them. Mm -hmm. Have you really forgotten all about me? What? Is it some sort of performance-based amnesia? <laughs> my pride won't allow me to lose, so it never happened, neener, neener, neener. <laughs> You've really changed, Nayuta. I was right! Back then, when Apollo was first talking about him, I was like, does he know him? He seems oh. to know him. Oh! Telling, or maybe he met in the trial. Telling me to let it go and stuff? What happened to you? Oh, lawyer of impure soul. I have nothing to say to the likes of you. Are you serious, Nayuta? Now, if you will excuse me. <sighs> Just like, spirit walks away. Oh, this is very good. This is good. Well, what I'm saying is, isn't it interesting? We get like a complicated web of character relationships. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, he wouldn't be referring to him as Nayuta if he didn't know him. Right, and it's like when it comes to Kurayin... Like, Phoenix is kind of going to be basically litigating against the heart and soul of, like, the corrupt heart yeah, and soul yeah, of yeah. Kurain. And so there's going to be that type of relationship. But he's got a personal relationship with Apollo, so... Right! So Nayuta is going to show up and be like, oh, it's you. <laughs> I mean, this is... Well done. Quite interesting. There he goes. What was that all about, Apollo? How do you know Prosecutor Saad Mahdi and why haven't you told me every little dark secret about your past? A She's right! Athena! <laughs> Let's just say we're old acquaintances. I didn't mention that to you because I want to be mysterious and cool too. Yeah, but you're Apollo. 
I hate you so much. <laughs> Acquaintances, it seemed like something more than that. Trucy, what are you saying? Yeah, well, I hate you all so, <laughs> so much. You don't like to talk about your past, do you? Well, I hadn't so far, have I? Because you always change the subject. If we shared our past, we might find some common grounds. Funny you should say that. I guess I'll have to talk about it someday. But that day is going to be in about the fourth case, I reckon. <laughs> but for now, come on. Let's forget about the past and celebrate Trucy's future. Uh, sure, if you say so. Wasn't that a I still great... think you're dodging. That was a great dodge, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's probably a tune from Apollo Justice, and I just don't recall. I like that ringtone, though. Because, I mean, his was the Steel Samurai song, Phoenix's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's Mr. Wright. Put him on speakerphone, Apollo. What's up, Mr. Wright? Oh, Apollo, how's Trucy? What happened at the trial? Did you get a not guilty verdict? Everything is fine. Fire. Everything is fine. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's true oh. there is a fire, but everything oh. is still fine. <laughs> Mr. Wright, slow down. Everything is fine! I expected you to say that. That's why I did it in a different note. Hi, Daddy. I'm okay now. I cut him in half. I put him in a box and I thawed it and... No, not really. She was found not guilty in a very dramatic turnabout. Plus, we saved the office. It was totally illegal. It was a great victory for Apollo. See? You can leave it to us. Whew. That's a load off my mind. I can't thank you enough, Apollo. So how are things going in your end? Have you been arrested as a political prisoner yet? Don't worry, we'll be transitioning to that very soon. Oh, glad to hear it. Now I know I can trust you to hold down the front anytime. That said, Fort. Me? Really? Yes, you. You're a real, full-fledged lawyer now in my eyes. I'm not a rookie anymore? Nope. Do you mean it? A, a full-fledged lawyer? I still can't wrap my mind around it. If that if that case was half as spectacular as the reports I'm going to get in the future, no doubt, then that was some crazy stuff. Thank goodness you were there to take care of everything. And thank you, Apollo. That statement sounds a little weird. <laughs> no, no need to go that far, boss. Uh, especially not in front of everyone. <laughs> oh, well, if your trials are anything like mine, I'm sure they were crapping all over you. Praise me more, please. Oh, and by the way, I won't be able to make it to tomorrow's show, so I was hoping you could go. You'll do that for me, won't you? Why would I not? Of course, I wouldn't miss it for the world! I mean, you were already planning on going normally, I'm sure. And I wasn't assuming that you'd be going anyway. That's okay. Trucy doesn't mind. I mean, I'm sure she'd prefer you were there, but that's just not the way things work. Right? Besides... You've already hung up, Apollo. Oh, I was going to say that Trucy, biggest fan's probably always been Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, I guess I already <laughs> hung up then. <laughs> Full-fledged. You mean I'm not a rookie anymore? So Daddy asked you to come to tomorrow's show, huh? Let's see, when did the game Apollo Justice come out? Was it 2004, 2006? Uh-huh. It's been 12 years. I don't remember when anything comes out, Damon. I've... I've after all this time, I'm not new anymore! Ah! As my assistant, right? I'm not a rookie anymore! Oh no, he just asked me to go cheer you on. I mean, you were there listening to it. Okay, then I'll be sure to save you the best seat in the house, Paul. No, really, who's gonna do Mr. Rias' part? What show? That's the best seat in the house. <laughs> you know I can't do any magic tricks, right? The best seat in the house? I, I really appreciate the thought, but... Good, then it's settled. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, show it! Show a scene! Okay, I think it is. It's the stage. Objection! <laughs> I should have known! <laughs> <laughs> look at Mr. Hat! Yeah, the look on his face! I should have known! 
that this is what she meant! Magical girl Trucy Wright will now perform her greatest delusion yet! There are no tricks or gimmicks here! Ha ha ha! Ladies and gentlemen, this is real magic! Wait a minute! You're kidding, right? <laughs> I... You know, it's kind of amazing that she was able to pull something like this off at the last minute. And you know, everybody would probably... Go along with it. Give her a lot of slack. Yeah, yeah, all things considered. There, there, there is a trick or gimmick, right? I'm still a rookie. I'm too young to die. <laughs> now then, Mr. Hat, you know what to do with that sword. Oh, oh, no, 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 wait, stop! No! And that is how Trucy and Grammary Land ended on a rousing high note by murdering some random volunteer from the audience. With a big round of applause and Polly's ear-splitting screams. What kind of an ending is that? <laughs> I'm Apollo Justice and I'm dead. <laughs> the right of turnabout. Also, now I need a cough drop. <laughs> Wakey wakey 201. Got some more questions. My god, Phoenix escaped! Sound the alarm! Prisoner 201's escaped! Speaking you know, of magic. Dad's back on the streets. Things will be on the up and up for us. Dats, huh? Down. You want that rebel hunter to find us or something? Come on. We're small fries compared to huh? What the heck? By the way. This is a day in which I have seen the most chicken stabs. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, nice synchro scream. <laughs> that's... Well, that's the case, folks. I was going to say, it's going to be really hard for me to resist doing that every time. Maybe Dats is going to be the client? No, no, he did escape from prison, though. Y yeah, I don't know if there's anything that could really I... stop being escaping from prison. Of course, it could be that, yes, he escaped from prison, but no, he didn't murder somebody. Well, anyway, who the heck knows? Ah. Ah, another fine day in the kingdom of Kurain, where oh. my throat the tongue is not at risk of getting clipped out. Your throat tongue is not at risk of being clipped out? I've been coughing a lot, I'm sorry. So it's been around 10 days, something like that? It was April 29th when that last thing happened. Yeah, it's been 10 days, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's so peaceful here. Ah... You can't be serious. I can't believe it's been two weeks already, but... This place is really starting to grow on me. That means it's about time for something horrible to happen now. <sighs> Still... I haven't seen Maya yet. He has to have seen Maya by now. Oh, those eyebrows. <laughs> Every time I close my eyes, it sure was a rough start. <laughs> now, to do what I came here to do, finally meet Maya. To see Maya. Her long ascetic training is finally coming to an end. Okay, he had to wait on the end of her training. But before it does, she said something about one last rite she has to perform today. Mr. Wright! Oh, the doggy yep, shadow. No, he has no reason to wear the hat anymore. Happy Rocky. Hey, Aldi. Happy Rocky. Oh, you finally got it right, Mr. Wright. Oh, you've mastered the traditional greeting of Kurain. We need to stop predicting what these guys are going to say next. It's kind of creepy. I I don't know about that, but I guess all that practicing is paying off. Your face is, is awfully creepy, Mr. Oh, I almost said your last name there. <laughs> Have you gotten used to life at the temple? Are you staying at the temple? Isn't there like a hotel or something? Well, I can't let you stay at my house. I do not have one. I live at the temple too. 
I'm grateful they're letting me stay here, but the mornings start a little too early for me. What, you mean 1 a.m. is too early? <laughs> well, well, jet lag. Yes, well, morning prayers do begin at dawn. After all, you can never pray too much. Daily devotion is very important here in Kurain. I'm familiar with praying all the time. Hats off to you guys. I don't know how you do it. Hey, you said hats off. That's like a joke because I'm not wearing my hat anymore. Uh, dogs off to you? I don't know. It just didn't really feel the same. No, it really didn't, Mr. Wright. And today's a special day full of even more prayer than usual. There's nothing better in this world than being able to pray to your heart's content. <laughs> I can think of a few things I'd rather do. It's good to have passion for the things you love. Right? So, what makes today so special anyway? You mean you don't know? Today's the purification rite. It's only performed once a year. Oh, is that the one where they trot out the orb that doesn't exist at the moment? I guess it still exists, it's just not here. That's what Maya must have been talking about on the phone yesterday. Oh? I wonder what her role in it is. Maybe, so... Maybe she's the orb? Uh... What exactly is Maya going to be doing for this purification rite? What? Didn't she tell you? She's playing the role of Lady Kira. It's only the most important part of the entire rite. It's unprecedented to have a foreigner play such a key role. Wow, that's really something. It really is. Helping out such an amazing person has been the greatest honor of this humble tour guide's life. So, uh, who is this Lady Kira you mentioned? Allow me to explain. Once upon a time, hundreds upon hundreds of years ago, there lived a female warrior who fought valiantly to establish the kingdom of Kurai. Let me stop you right there! Oh, thank goodness, I did need to breathe. Is something wrong? No, it's just... I get the feeling I'm about to cough again. Oh my god! No, it's just... I get the feeling I'm in for a really long story. Yeah... I'd say it normally takes around two hours to tell. Oh my god. It's pretty cool that I know it, but then again, I am a tour guide. Whew. Dodge the bullet there. By the way, look at Shadow. Oh yeah, yeah, doing the thinking oh. thing. Oh, oh, right. You're supposed to finally see Miss Maya today. Oh. Sorry, small cute things do actually work on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The story can wait, then. In the meantime, you can read up on the right with this. I'm sure it won't come in handy later during a trial. Why are you putting that into your court record? An English guidebook? Where did you dig this up from? Do not underestimate a professional tour guide. I guess I should. By the way, when I went to the, uh, like, the, the Atomic Bomb Memorial Museum in Hiroshima, uh -huh. um, they had something like 35 different languages of pamphlets there. Dang. They could have had more, but... That's pretty impressive. I found it just lying there in the temple library. I figured no one's using it, so I borrowed it. I mean, it's a library. That is what you do from libraries. And it's related to what he does. Mm -hmm. Hey, this book belongs to Maya. Oh, what a crazy coincidence. See, that's her name on the back. I should have actually looked at the item that I stole. Weren't you considering accusing me of being a thief back in the first case? <laughs> Guess there's no harm in keeping this for a while, then. I'll just add this to my court record. Uh, full moon staging area. I wonder if Maya's going to be the defendant again. I bet she is. It's How many times has she been the defendant so far? A lot. Three-part ceremony held when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. Begins the transformation right. Next is the right of water. The high priest purifies both Lady Kira and her dagger. Ah, uh, it doesn't sound and good. And then the priestess circles the sacred flames to purify her soul. Devote themselves to prayer. Two days later! Oh, God! So basically the whole thing's a fancy way for Lady Kira to take a bath once a year? Uh, nice, nice thing That you, must be Maya. Yeah, notes. I was gonna say, nice, nice addition, Maya. Miss Maya should already be at the site where the rite is to take place. Let's go to the Plaza of Devotion. Okay, I, I have to say. Yeah. It's just been eating me up this whole time. Well, maybe I shouldn't phrase it like that. Nom, 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 nom. I wish I had a head dog. I could see it. Or a head cat, perhaps. Robin's far too big for that. Are you kidding? Like, the freaking tiger over there is way too big. So, we have to make sure we go to the right site. Right? 
What the heck was that? That was a really bad joke. I wonder if Maya's, uh... I wonder if you're reading the wrong line, maybe. I wonder if Maya's matured any since I last saw her, or if she's just gonna keep on going on about hamburgers. There was a remarkable lack of fine arts in your delivery, sir. It's on a mountaintop, so it might get a little cold, though. I think I can handle it. Five minutes later, he's like got like frozen icicles sticking out of his nose. Let's head over to where the purification rite will be held, stupid. Were you paying attention? What sort of rite is it? Why are you bothering talking to me? Just read your book. Um, we'd wind up missing a whole day of the rite if I were to explain it. He's so thorough in his <laughs> explanations. I, I like him. In that case, I think I'll just go see it for myself. It's important to have, like, a realistic level of knowledge when it comes to this stuff. Hey, remember this? I'm in that tournay. Wow, what a beautiful badge. It's the attorney's badge we use in my country. I hate it. Puh, <laughs> puh. It kind of looks like a sunflower to me. It kind of does look like a sunflower, doesn't it? Does it? Are there any seeds in the middle? Yep. I'm pretty sure there's even a reason for there's it. There's a reason for seeds and there are seeds? Uh, no, 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 no. No, that's not what you said. Please do explain, Mr. Wright. Maybe next time. I should have known he'd ask me to explain. When I you don't actually a, know. When you give an explanation, you can go on for about 45 minutes to an hour in order to be thorough, right? I... In fact, you should be able to go on even longer than that since you're older than me and thus have had more time to accumulate knowledge of the things that are interesting to you. I, uh... What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Look at this. Oh, is this some sort of to new tourist souvenir? You or just gave it to me two minutes ago! Or is this the book that I just lit you after stealing it myself? S sorry, but no. Oh. Oh, jeez. Sorry to be such a disappointment. Oh! Oh, oh Shadow. I should offer a prayer now and then since they're letting me stay here. Hmm, let's see. May there be a slightly softer futon tonight. Keeping your expectations low, huh? Assuming that'll increase the uh, likelihood of it being granted. And may tomorrow's breakfast be a little bigger. Oh, you're pushing yourself now there, buddy. This is still the developing world. Wow, I'm impressed by your prayer... Pre, pre, I, I'm impressed by your prayerful heart. Prayer is at the heart of Kurianism, after all. May the Holy Mother's blessings be upon you. Oh, uh, thanks. Now I feel kind of bad. May your futon only grow harder, because a hard futon is truly the reward for all good men. <sighs> this is a really gorgeous spring. You have an excellent eye for beauty, sir. This is the Guiding Waters, the centerpiece of our temple tour. It's a sacred pathway for people's mitama, so don't ever wade into it. You'll be getting soul gunk all over you. <sighs> Why? Uh, what would happen if I did? I, I don't think we should even be talking about this. Just don't go in it, okay? <laughs> Shadow is like, Grr. What about that fish? <laughs> right? It's an ex-fish now, Mr. Wright. What's the worst that could happen? But we're okay for now, right? As long as we stay out of the water? Oh. <sighs> What are those buildings over there? I was going to say, I never even saw them before. Those are training halls. Monks continuously undergo rigorous training there, day in and day out. You could try it out for a day if you'd like. They do really interesting stuff like meditating while standing on their heads. This is, that's really okay, Albie. Thanks. I, you know, I can't stand on my head. Because it hurts. Yeah. I've got natural cushioning. I Why suppose you, you, would, me, David? you would say that. You would say that, wouldn't you? Time to go to the Plaza of Devotion. Oh. It feels like Tibet. It's so cold. It's like the air itself is made of ice. But look at all these people. Well, this is the day we come to offer prayers to Lady Kira, the protector of our land. It's amazing to see how devoted everyone is. Devoted? Right. But couldn't they just as easily do all this praying someplace warmer? That's not how it works, Mr. Wright. Remember how I prayed for your futon to get harder earlier? Y yeah. Oh. This, too, is a part of our religious training. 
It helps us build strength of spirit and willpower. Further up at the end of those stairs is the inner sanctum. Where nothing bad can ever happen. Well, I Good guess, lord! I guess when you say it like that, it's if there's an inner sanctum in a video game, something awful is going to happen there. Or yeah. really important. I see. Everyone I've met so far seems deeply religious, almost like this is the home of a religion or something. I like how you laughed when you began to say that, Mr. Wright. You will be cursed for this. Uh, of course we are. I'm already cursed, buddy. After all, Kurayin is also known as the land of prayer. It's said that we Kurayinese spend an average of 15 hours a day in prayer. My God. Oh, my God. What? 15? How do you get anything done? Well, we don't. From the moment we wake to the moment we fall asleep, our hearts are always in prayer. Ah, okay, okay. You see all the square flags around here? They're known as prayer flags. At this, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a prayer rug and that's a prayer gate. And this is a prayer dog. Mmm, -hmm. I want a prayer dog just to sit on my head. They contain the prayers of our people. I was teeing up a prairie dog joke for you. And You're you, right. You oh, didn't take it. I failed. You just made a head dog uh, comment. You're right. You just fed that one to me and I spat it back in your face. I probably deserved it, honestly. Oh, he's talking about those colorful strips of cloth. There's something written on each one. Such piety is the glory of our people. And I'm afraid that story's going to have to wait for another time, Albie. He can tell by now. <laughs> Maya should be here any minute now. Well, while we're waiting, it, oh yeah, you're right. I can't wait to see Miss Maya again. You and me both. I, I bet that's her. Pardon me, oh noble traveler. It is Maya! How do you fare, Mr. Wright? It's been many a day. Wow. That's way too deep a voice for Maya. And, uh, right? Where might you be? <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Maya? <laughs> then again, she has gotten a lot older. That's true. Miss Maya, Hoppy Rocky. She had better not be all like. I mean, I know Phoenix is like, has she matured? Has she matured? Has she matured? Uh -huh. But you can only change so much. Yeah. Maybe she's just not going to be as airheady. But if she doesn't have the same basic personality, It'd then be it's sad. not. It's yeah, it's not Maya at that point. Happy Rocky, Alby. And you, Mister Wright, may the Holy Mother guide you on your journey. Oh, um, <laughs> thanks. No, oh, this isn't awkward at all, is it? <laughs> Long time no see, Nick. There she is. Oh, that music. It's not quite as peppy, but it, it yeah. is her old theme. But she's got her, her expression. <laughs> well, well, did I surprise you with my act? <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Whew. This is Maya Faye. She's a spirit medium from Crying Village back home, which is disturbingly similar to... Anyway... <laughs> what, what are you talking about, Nick? She was also my assistant for quite some Man, time. This is really nostalgic. It just seems like I haven't haven't seen her around in years because mm -hmm. you haven't seen her around in years. You know, when I when I played the third Phoenix Wright, man, there was a lot of things in my life that were different. Uh huh. It's just that's a long time ago. Wow, memories. <laughs> but that was many years ago, Damon. Her ability to channel spirits saved me more times than I can count. Don't ask! I sure miss those days. It was a ton of fun being the real boss of <laughs> right and company <laughs> law offices. <laughs> now she's here, training to be the leader of Crying Village and the master of her craft. You know, for some reason, Nick, I can't help but really want a hamburger right now. That's okay, I got one just for you. It's kind of a couple weeks old, but you know... Oh, it's frozen! Apparently, to become the master of the Kurain channeling technique, you have to train here in Kurain, since this is where the technique originated. Didn't I sound just like a pious nun when you saw me just now? 
Too bad that's about all I learned from all the training I did. I already knew how to do all this I, stuff. I'm not sure if that's something you should brag about. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Maya. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? She may look a little more mature on the outside, but inside, she's the same old Maya. Oh, good. I'm actually kind of glad for that. But not just me. Hey, Maya! I hit the wrong button. Hey, Maya, remember this? Oh, hey! Congrats on getting your badge back, Nick. I'm sorry that I never said a word to you <laughs> during all that time after you got disbarred and were accused of other horrible things. It's quite all right, Maya. Thank you for reminding me of that. Now you can go back to a life of bold-faced... Fa what a weird word to say! <laughs> Bold-facedly bluffing the day away every day. <sighs> That's not exactly why I returned to the courtroom, you know. Man, that's that's really hard. Right? You know what else is hard? What? I heard this recently. Say Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Now say it a little faster. Irish riv Whoa! Irish wristwatch. Irish oh, wrist I got watch. it. But I've been practicing it. I <laughs> Irish wristwatch. Okay, now, Irish wristwatch. Now say bold facedly bluffing. Bold facedly bluffing. Bold yeah, that was on purpose. Spit in my face. <laughs> hey, that's mine! Well, it was just sitting there in the temple's library, so I'll be sort of checked it out for me. Well, I guess it's back to my hands. Hope it comes in handy then. I don't like books. Oh, and by the way, the Maya Library of Guidebooks has a $2 a day donation policy. You're gonna have it back. I guess all of his en entrepreneurial spirit is contagious, or he got it from you. Where do you think he learned it from, Nicky Poo? Don't ever call me that again. <laughs> what a butt. I mean, wow. No one's moved a muscle. Those people will stay in that position and pray for two days straight, Mr. Wright. Oh my god. T two days straight? Glad I'm not them, and that I get to be Lady Kira. M Maya, don't be rude. They're right here. You just hang in there, Nick. It's only two days after all. I don't recall signing up for this part of the tour. You know what they say, when in Rome, do no. what the Kurayanese do. Now I understand the saying, there's no place like home. When in Kurayan, do you like the Romans do? Well, if I did like the Kurianese did, that there'd be a dead tour guide here. What kind of a weird implication is that? That means I wouldn't have defended him. All be said, these things are called prayer flags. And the prayers written on them are carried throughout the kingdom by the wind. Now, if I were to pray for something, it'd be a coat. It would be for me to not get dragged into any more trouble than I already have been. And, but let's be honest. And, and oh, holy mother, please make sure finally that Phoenix will get dragged into much more trouble. I knew it! I mean, it's been, it's been what? Something like nine years since Maya's been accused of being a murderer? <laughs> She's got a quota to deal with. <laughs> what a magnificent gate. You can tell it leads to someplace sacred like the Inner Sanctum or possibly the final boss fight of an RPG. Hmm, kind of looks like that. Sadly, only holy people are allowed through there. I can go. You can't. <laughs> That's okay. If it gets colder up there, I don't want to go. And here I am hoping to show you just how amazing I've become during the rite today. All that spiritual power I built up during my really hard training is going to rush out like a raging river. Y yeah. Just try not to overdo it, okay? I'm gonna show you a good right. Right? <laughs> oh, just end me. All right, Maya, tell me about yourself. I heard what happened, Nick. You ended up in court almost as soon as you got off the plane, huh? That's a little bit faster than normal. Yeah, well, it's kind of a long story. You I, don't seem that surprised. I guess you've gotten better, too. I guess? I was the accused! It was terrible! But you should have seen Mr. Wright in action! Did you know he was a lawyer? 
and he's actually pretty decent at it too. Yes, she knows, Albie. <laughs> By the way, it was two dollars a day. Feel free to pay it to me. <sighs> hmm. The better was another one of your famous seat of your pants come from behind wins, huh? What the what the true killer do as soon as he broke down? Kind of broke his guitar. Well, I was almost found guilty any number of times, but that's just due to the Koreanese legal system where the judge nearly declared yeah, that wasn't the verdict, my fault. I don't know how many times. Okay, so it wasn't my finest hour, so sue me. Oh, you don't want to see civil court around here, Mr. Wright. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit either, Nick. Ouch, it definitely stings more when it's coming from her, but I guess it's kind of a conditioned response at this point. <laughs> just fall right back into old habits. So, I guess you finished the bulk of the training needed to become the master, right? Oh, you mean the special meditation course for increasing spiritual power? I was just seeing if there was an acronym hidden in there somewhere. Smookus! Smookus! Yep, I've completed the full two years. I can finally go home once I perform the purification rite today. Man, I'm just so glad nothing horrible is going to happen that will implicate you for murder. Actually, <laughs> I was wondering why they're having a foreigner conduct one of their sacred rites. I'm just that good. Well, the high priest's wife usually conducts it each year, but with her baby on the way, it's just more than she can handle. And they don't have any backups? Why isn't the princess doing it? That's a good question, why Rafa isn't doing yeah. it. Yeah. So, the high priest practically begged me to stand in for her this year. Well, you may not know all of their customs, but with your training, I'm sure you'll do great. You bet. Just you watch, Nick. I'm going to be the best Lady Kira guardian deity ever. By the way, what's this I hear about you having a daughter? Is there anything you need to tell me? I have a daughter. I'd better throw in a few prayers for things to not end in a flaming disaster then. Uh, how many? How much are these prayer flags, Albie? Hmm... Mm. So about that guardian deity you'll be portraying today. What exactly are we talking about here? Are we talking about like a multi-armed woman with like a weapon in each arm? Or no, it's really more like the Steel Samurai. Of course it is. Well, first of all, Lady Kira isn't really a deity in the way we think of them back home. Yes! It oh, really is like the Steel Samurai! God. She's a real person who fought to establish the kingdom of Kurain a long, long time ago. So they thought that doing this with a full-on Toksatz costume <laughs> would be the best way to go. And, and they were right! And there's even a staged battle! How? So she actually existed. Why does she look like a assassin from Fate State Night? There may be a little bit more uh, embellishing than I'm letting on, though. And now, the kingdom's people worship her as a guardian deity. But that's exactly how certain deities are back in Japan, America. Shut up! They believe she appears to protect the kingdom whenever it's in danger. Because she protected it once, only she can ever protect it again! Why? Nobody else ever can! Cloaked in a sacred robe, she's a champion of justice who defeats the kingdom's enemies! hey Just like that! That sounds like something you'd be into. The way she framed the name did kind of sound like a Tokusatsu series, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's even better than the Pink Princess! Well, maybe not quite that good. Who wouldn't want to be a kick-butt warrior who takes on evil with a wicked dagger? Yeah! Right, right. Whatever floats your boat. I've already got a special attack name worked up and everything. It's going to be so dramatic, Nick. <laughs> Still, Lady Kira must really be a popular deity if all these people are here for her. Probably the stage fight helps too. Yep, but there's more to it than just her popularity this year. Th there's more? Tell me more about the right's popularity. <laughs> so, why is this right attracting such a large crowd this year? You don't have to ask me three times, Nick. So why is this right attracting- Because there's been actual sightings, you know? Of the real deal! There's been actual sightings of someone dressed up in a big, full-body concealing robe. Isn't this the second game in a row where we've had this? Even Toksatz battles? You're right! I told you about the Toksatz battle in Dual Destinies. Yeah! Allow me to explain! Is it gonna cost me anything? A mysterious figure clad in Lady Kira's robes appeared, just like in the legends! 
and she began capturing members of the Defiant Dragons right and left. You're kidding, right? I mean... They say it's only a matter of time till she defeats every last one of the Defiant Dragons. And then, I mean, till she gets their leader, the Revolutionary Dirk, too. Oh, that the, the Defiant Dragons really are something like that. Yeah. So Lady Kira is a rebel hunter now, huh? So that's what we saw in the beginning. It's a bit hard to swallow, though, and that's coming from me. I mean, even if they are trying to disrupt the peace, I, I doubt the actions of a band of rebels can bring a legendary figure back to life. It's... Probably someone taking on her likeness and namesake in order to fight for a cause. Right? Right? Mr. Wright, you have so little faith in Kurianism. Don't you talk to me about that! I've been schlubbing around with her for years! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some shit! <laughs> I didn't believe it at first either. But there's a real picture of her on the front page of today's newspaper. Oh! Okay. Didn't kill him. Right, because we kind of thought that maybe she did. Yeah. Sightings ever go about? Okay, Maya. Burgers. <laughs> Sightings ever go back about two years, but this is the first actual picture ever to ever be taken. I can't believe someone was able to actually capture her on film. I mean, I'm really suspect because of where it looks like that camera guy's hiding. Oh my god. <laughs> what if Lady Kira and the photographer are the same person? It's a Spider-Man situation here! She's taking pictures of Lady Kira to sell to the daily, uh, Zuvula or whatever. But couldn't this just be some Lady Kira fan? You know, like you, Maya? You mean like a cosplayer? Something like that. Those rebels are no joke, Nick. They're trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff. It's like so they're a bunch the cosplayer! Of, they're a bunch of Toksot's bad guys. You think some regular cosplayer can take on people like that, dressed in a costume, alone? Well, you know something? If I were some guard just sort of hanging around, minding my own business, and some person dressed as a cultural icon of my culture that, like, is well-known as, like, an anti- like, if Batman showed up, my first reaction would probably be, WHAT THE HELL?! And boom, then they take you out with the element of surprise. Especially if it's someone that's revered so much. I guess Just it's possible, the image yeah. alone could be enough to cow them into submission. Or at least enough to get the drop on them. M. You heard it here, folks. Billy wants to be Batman. Justice. That's why she has to be the real deal. It gives me chills just thinking about it. I get chills too, but not because of that. <laughs> I bet Lady Kira... <laughs> I bet Lady Kira's spirit possessed a sacred robe or something. Well, now, hold on. Is the sacred robe missing? A spirit possessing a piece of clothing? Uh, maybe you should cut back on all those action superhero shows, Maya. Oh, you think it was the dagger instead? It's got a really weird hilt shaped like a chicken or a duck or something. Maybe she possessed that. <sighs> Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Those shows are real, you know? Haven't you ever seen the stage versions they do every year? Yes, I have. Also, that is adorable. I love the cheek puff that she does. You're just a cheek puff fan. In fact, when Emma- We're not gonna get into what I'm into. You're just jealous <laughs> that I'm still young at heart. I've got a real office to run now, so I've got to keep it real, right? No more, I gotta tune in to the latest iteration of Steel Samurai and buy all the action figures oh, and Maya. trading cards and video games. I'm too important to do that, right? Right? Oh my, that's what a DVR is for. I don't know who you're talking about, but that's definitely not me. Nick, you've really lost your edge since I last saw you. I've kind of been beating you around. Well, I mean, you know, at my age, it gets a little difficult to keep my hair this sharp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, well done, Billy. <laughs> you predicted the next joke. Yes. That's, that's the most amazing <laughs> thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> Praise me more. Those spikes of yours have grown really dull. There's even one that's drooping. Oh, God. 
You, you understand this is a matter of, of hair product, not age. <laughs> well, if there's one thing I know, it's hair. Can we leave my hair out of this, please? Nope. You still got that nub, whatever that is. This nub is my personal style. I've had it basically my whole life. Why should I change now? Okay. Anyway, I swear that the Lady Kira people have been spotting is the real deal. Besides, it's just so much more fun to believe it's true, you know? Now you know something? I can get behind that sentiment a little bit. It's just like, well, I don't actually believe that this theory might be true, but wouldn't it be fun to think that it is? I suppose so. Yeah, as long like... It's like, as long as you're honest enough with yourself to be like, this probably isn't true, but it's kind of, until I see otherwise, it's kind of fun to think this, like your head cannon, so to speak. As long as you've got, like, a good, a good, uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But my brain has switched off, and all I can think of is nub. <laughs> I can't believe you really buy all that. Although, I wonder who's under that robe. It's me. Oh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Wright, she's the talk of the town. She even gave me this great new food idea. It's going to be like a soul bun, but based on Lady Kira, I'm calling it the Kira bun. Maybe you shouldn't be selling something called Kira's buns. No, I actually seem to think that that will do really well. You're going to attract the wrong kind of audience, I'll be. <laughs> Talk about a Kira business strategy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. no. Wow, even your bad ones are better than that. I know. Come on, Maya. Just admit it to you running around dressed as Lady Kira already. I did just admit to it. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I guess the jig is up. Couldn't fool you, Nick. What? Is it really true, Miss Maya? You can beat up all those bad guys? Indeed. It is I, Lady Kira. After hundreds of years, I have returned in this lovely young lady's body. Remember, I can channel spirits. I was going to say, this isn't really as far-fetched as you would think. What? What? I guess you can channel Oh god, they saw off the mountain! Oh, my soul bun hit me in the face. Only a minion of the defiant dragons could see through my disguise. Now, feel my wrath, Fabula Torne! Ah! My Mi shin! Mr. Wright, she got you really good! Yeah, I mean, come on. Just kidding, come on. <laughs> yeah, what you said. We're kind of on a roll. I know. I may be dressing up as Lady Kira for the right today, but there's no way I could ever beat up one of those rebel types. I don't know. That's a pretty solid left hook she just threw. Yeah, but God. those guys have guns and stuff. Oh, you were just trying to be funny. You really had me going there for a second, so that's what a joke is. No one can be that naive, right? Well, I hope you enjoy playing superhero at the right today. <laughs> oh, you put it that way. I'm even more hyped about it now than I was yesterday. Or already. Whatever was in the line. Oh, are those like those little monk stabs yeah, that have rings at the end? Uh, shock sheet, it's called. Oh, I hear the sound of the high priest's footsteps. I'd better get going. His footsteps? During the right, he wears these really big, stupid-looking bells on his ankles. That totally won't become important later. Just to remind you all, the murder's gonna happen there. That way I know he's coming. Pretty handy, right? Well, see you later. Whew, now that I'm gone, you finally have an excuse to stop. <coughs> I doubt there actually meant to be a stop slacking warning system for you, Maya. But the result is, that's how it works. Miss Maya is always so bright and cheerful. Yeah, I'm glad to see she hasn't changed. As in, at all. I wonder if this means her training's been all for naught. I hope not. Hey, she has large amounts of spiritual power, but her personality is her personality. That is correct. Oh, uh -huh. it's Acolyte Zealot. I uh -huh. bet you'll never figure out what that's supposed to be a pun of, Mr. Wright. Look, it's Father Pastor. 
<laughs> Acolyte Zealot. Look, it's not my fault. I did not name these people. Look, he's the one playing in the red and saffron robe. Why am I pointing this out to you right now anyway, all of a sudden? Uh, 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 uh. He's a disciple of the high priest, Abbot in me, and lives and trains at his house. Abbot in me. Abbot in me. I wonder if it, it must be have to do with his first name. I just hope it's not a euphemism. I hope it's not either. See how he prays in the cold without moving a muscle? Like everyone else around him? Well, that's well, be that's because they're not animated. Mr. Wright, you are not good at getting into the spirit of things. Where's your suspension of disbelief? Yeah, I could never do that. I guess you are a lawyer who breaks people's illusions. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it's Abbot Inney. The purification rite is about to begin. We'd better quit before that happens. Nope, we're going to begin the rite. <laughs> Ah, finally! Yeah. <laughs> 